everybody and welcome to another look at hilariously bad, dodgy, knockoff, bootleg toys from around the world. Uh, these are from Poundland this time. Uh, these are actually a series of photos that were kindly sent to me by Super Mastodon, who has contributed to our videos before, including creating the all-core wrestling fan site. I'm joined here today by the little daddy E. Boop. And we're going to take a look at some incredibly disturbing, really bad, dodgy, knockoff bootleg toys. And little daddy E is actually going to be seeing these for the first time, so his reactions are pretty much going to be accurate. So, this is going to be eventful. It is, yes. Uh, you weren't planning on sleeping tonight, were you? No. Good. Excellent. Right, we'll take a look. Your face already made me think that. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> anyway, let's look at this first one here, which appears to be... The result of a one-night stand between SpongeBob SquarePants and Pikachu. Wait a second, what? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's <laughs> disturbing! And he appears to be humping a slice of watermelon, and he's on a frisbee, and he wishes that you have a nice day. Well, thank you very much, SpongeBob Pikachu. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Not <laughs> this terrible thing. If it was under the sea, it's because it was drowned at birth. Anyway, let's move on to something else. So, next up we have Spider-Man. What? And Spider-Man's had a variety of different costumes over the years. He's had armoured costumes, black costumes. He has had... never had a beach or safari costume. A beach, yes. Beach Spider-Man and safari Spider-Man. They don't... The, the same figure, just with different moulds. Like, not even moulds. I think the safari one is just regular action man clothes. Yep. It looks like on the safari one, if, if you look at the bottom right, it's not even an action man figure. Yep. It's a mother figure, yep. which we've stolen the clothes from. It doesn't even look like a close fit him, it looks like, he's, looks like he's suffocating under them. It's like, help me! And what's that in the background of it? That's not a safari. That's a nuclear explosion! Yep, it's, it's Spider-Man caught in a, in a bushfire, basically. Lovely. Next up, Bear of the Interest. What? Yes, it's Bear. a knockoff Winnie the Pooh with no freaking eyes. And uh, yes, he's apparently on the interest. It has no eyes, yep. yet it stares into your soul! I'm guessing it's meant to be internet, but, you know, they, they spelt it wrong. Or, it, or, or, ju or just very interesting, but... Jesus Christ, I think that's meant to be... Uh, I don't... I like... I guess it's meant to be like a screen that it's holding? Yep. Probably yeah. doesn't really do anything, does it? He appears to have had his face slit open as well. Lovely! Good Let's... God, what's with that mouth? Let's move on, shall we? Next up is Benign Girl! Benign girl. Benign girl. Makes that it's like it's like it's some sort of Barbie thing, but it is in fact a really nasty looking uh, cheap telephone that has a picture of a Barbie sticker on. Is Vision it? Super Telephone. Super Telephone, yes. Battery operate. Oh, battery operated. Creative. Various music. Beautiful girl. Press any button. What the actual frig? Yes. What what are those black orbs at the top? And if you thought that was bad enough, now we've got Blandness Girl. <laughs> I get the impression that English wasn't their first language, the people that made these toys. So if Benign Girl wasn't enough, we have Blandness Girl. Blandness Girl. Blandness Girl. Who's, want, who's going to want to buy a toy? Blandness Girl. <laughs> Written in stolen Disney, fo uh, Disney font. Uh, and again, it's another nasty looking cheap plastic uh, and, mobile And phone. again, with those weird orbs above it. And like... Yeah. Have tried to do Disney Princesses. I think those weird obs above are actually meant to be the batteries, to be honest. So at least you're actually getting batteries with the thing. Yeah. Next up, Super Change. Collect them all. <laughs> the Autobot logo. Yeah, <laughs> a really terrible looking <laughs> Autobot logo. It looks like he's just shot himself laughing. <laughs> it's Bumblebee after he has literally just shot out a lug. <laughs> oh, I can't really see the Super toy, Change just... vehicle. New arrival. Collect them all. I'd rather not, to be honest. Yep. Uh, next up, right. Uh... I don't think anything else further needs to be said about this. It's a purple elephant, and there appears to be some kind of problem with its truck. Look, Let's move look, on. Look, Frodo, olifods. <laughs> Wait a second. That's that's not a truck coming. Oh God! Let's move on, shall we? Uh, now we get more transforming robots. This one changes into a giant robot. Um, chicken. Chicken. Rooster. Cockerel. Rooster. Super cock! <laughs> Super cock changes some cock robot. Yep, cock robot. I think that's what every child is asking for for Christmas this year, isn't it? Yes, and every, and every single mother as well. Indeed. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Oh, uh, and more um, uh, cock related stuff. Um, 
if you take a look at it this way, it looks like a, a sort of freakish looking butterfly. A beautiful butterfly. You turn it this way. And it's a knob of bollocks. Yes. <laughs> it already looks like a knob of bollocks when it's the right way around. And they also appear to be uh, little dots where the balls are for the hair. I do, what? How? Do these people even look at a butterfly? That's not how a butterfly works. No, nope, but they've clearly looked at a lot of cock. Let's move on. Um, right, okay. What would you like to say about this? Those are, those are truly fine specimens of dogs. Yes. And obviously they knew what they were talking about when they wrote that log. Oh, come on, what the hell? Those are ostriches, you fucks. They put two ostriches inside the packaging and called it dogs. So either the people that have put this toy together either don't have English as their first language or they generally don't have a fucking clue what a dog looks like. At least they're not shacking each other like those Poundland toys. Oh, yeah, like those uh, dinosaurs. Yes. In the very, very first Poundland special, I don't know. I'm surprised you remember that. Okay, now inevitably, whenever a franchise becomes popular, you get knockoffs, don't you? There's been Lego, and there's, with Lego, there's been Mega Blocks, and the Creo Craft, all sorts, but this actually work. Indeed. Well, as you probably expect, there's also Angry Birds knockoffs as well. We've come across Angry Birds knockoffs before when we did our look at Seaside Tat. This time we have Fed Up Fowls. They're not Angry Birds, they're just a bit pissed off. <laughs> That's like enraged marsupials yes. or angry fish. Angry fish is a real thing, I'm not even kidding. And to say it's got catnip in it, I'm assuming it's some sort of cat toy, is it? I don't think it's really, yeah. this is meant to be you give your child. Why would you put catnip inside it, though? The cat will be tear it open to get those cat drugs. Well, cats really like catnip. Time to play, time to hunt. Time to die! And then if you thought that was bad enough, we have ill-tempered birds. Really? Ill-tempered birds pencil toppers. Were you people just looking through a thesaurus at angry? <laughs> just... Right, that... Alright, nobody's used that nip wood yet. We'll have that adjective. Next up, we'll have passive-aggressive birds. We're fine about the eggs, really. Okay, uh, a McDonald's knockoff toy. Uh, someone has spelt fresh wrong. Flesh drink. Yes. It's well, McDonald's for zombies. Yes. <laughs> this is how all McDonald's will be in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, now we get some My Little Pony related stuff. Now usually My Little Pony is quite easy to knock off. And in fact, some of the My Little Pony stuff that we've seen in previous panel specials have actually been quite good. The 30 year old men who love My Little Pony the, terrify the me. The bronies, yes exactly. They terrify me. This gets a special mention just because of the packaging where it appears to be referred to as a demon donkey. Do these people know what a fucking donkey is? <laughs> a demon? Really? That's, this is meant to be small child, so it's pink. Yes. Demon! My, demon donkey! My Little Pony? No, it's Demon Donkey. Dear God, kill me now. <laughs> um, oh, and... Um, More terrifying My Little Pony. Yes, as it's basically two franchises combined together, it's Pikachu and My Little Pony joined together. So that Pikachu didn't have to get around, not only has he been sleeping with Spongebob Squarepants, but apparently he's also been going into these stables at night and humping a few of the My Little Ponies as well. Oh good god, why? That Pikachu's a random little bastard, isn't he? Yes! <laughs> Shall we move on? Let's! Oh god, there's more of these disturbing fucks. Yeah, set funny pony! Um, yeah, lots of stolen artwork from the current My Little Pony uh, cartoon series. What's amusing is that... Um, these sort are of really terribly done uh, wings that appear to be glued to its uh, to its ribs, and also what appears to be uh, well, could very well be a giant cock on its head. <laughs> it looks more like a narwhal horn. Narwhal horn. Funny style gift set. Welcome to Out Toys World. Collect them all. Yeah, out because that's where you're going to be throwing them. Yes, out in the bin. Out into an incinerator. And another Pikachu knockoff. This one is uh, white. White for some reason. It shagged a ghost. Yes. <laughs> and even more... Or it fell into bleach. Even, even more uh, Pokemon stuff. In fact, we may as well entitle this video Fake Pokemon and other freaky action figures. Fun like. battle game Prodigy Pit. Prodigy Pet. Missile function. Missile function. Where are the missile functions of that shit? Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't like to say. Three of them are Pikachus. One of them, the top one looks like it's taking a shit. All, <laughs> all three Pikachus are badly painted. The... There's meant to be a Charmander. That looks okay from where I'm sat, but it's probably horrifying. There's a Charmeleon that looks like it's made out of feces. Yep. And there's a Blastoise, which is incredibly tiny. Yep. And looks significantly pissed off. What was that brown one called again? A Charmeleon. A Charmeleon. Made of pure disease and excrement. 
Like, we've not even bothered painting the fire. At least bother painting the fucking fire. <laughs> anyway, um, Power Rangers in space. Did you know that Spider-Man and Batman were Power Rangers? And also apparently the other Power Rangers and the Hulk, according to the packaging, even though he doesn't appear, and Daredevil. And, uh, no, I think that uh, was, uh, oh uh, yeah, that is Daredevil, yeah. So you get the Black Ranger, the Blue Ranger, Spider-Man and Batman. Those aren't even Power Rangers space characters up in, the, in the artwork packaging. I don't think those are even Power Rangers characters. I think those are more crappy Power Man ones. Yep. So, uh, that, looks like the, that looks like the sex dolls. But... Spider-Man and Batman looking uh, uh, particularly bemused at the fact that they're in this packaging. Let's move on. Ah. I... I don't eat what? <laughs> now then, this was a, a range... I, I actually think this is a genuine toy. This is what it makes is. it most disturbing. It was a range of uh, Marvel toys. Uh, I think this might have been a gun, and it transforms into a Punisher action figure. I think it was like a Marvel Transformers crossover. Yeah. So you got loads of Marvel characters that were like robots and transformed into stuff. So, for example, you'd get a Venom, which transformed into like an APC for some reason, and a Hulk that transformed into a tank. Oh, yeah, I think I can remember that. Yeah. I think this is either meant to be like a gun or from the barrel, but... Yeah. I mean, by barrel, I mean giant throbbing knob! Yeah, that's right. They had nowhere for the barrel to go, so they stuck it between Punisher's legs. So it looks like he has the biggest, most angriest, most painful erection in the world. <laughs> cut, cut, what cut, makes cut. it worse is the look on the Punisher's face. It's like, oh my god, this hurts so much! And the fact that there's a silver missile looks like he's just... It looks like it looks painful for him to jizz. Yes, yeah, so should we move on? Let's! I'm just terrified! Could I was you... thinking, when he's in gun form and you're, and you're, you, you, you're far enough around, does that mean that he is as well? <laughs> uh... Anyway, um... <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Toy Special 3, and yes, Buzz certainly looks very special here, doesn't he? Oh, my eyes! He appears to be fondling his, uh, fondling his own <laughs> genitals, which would also explain the look on his face. <laughs> Like he's just discovered he has a knob of bollocks for the first time. Uh, I don't... The eyes! God, God, the eyes! He actually looks like he's enjoyed himself there, doesn't he? Even say. the stolen artwork is crap of Buzz. Yes. And one of them's not even from Toy Star, eh? It's from one of the actual toy packaging. Oh, God, God, the eyes! That's one thing we can always guarantee is terrible Woody and Buzz knockoffs. <laughs> anyway, let's move on so Buzz can uh, <coughs> finish himself off. Because ah! now we have sexual harassment, Woody. Space boys free. Well, the eyes. Space boys just, free. Just look at my face. It's like, hey there. He wants to grab hold of you and take you roughly from behind. <laughs> um, oh right, Spider Man, the the Army Man. Come As... on, enjoy the pleasure together. I don't want to know where these toy designers thought the Spider-Man toy was meant to go. Well, Spider-Man's one of the most bootlegged action figures out there. Now, we've come across this type of figure before on some of these Power Man specials. It's basically a wind-up soldier. You wind him up, and he crawls along the floor. Actually, I think, I think that is literally one of those wind-up soldiers, so they've been painted in it. It is. It is. That's it's exactly just repainted, it but in a different packaging. Yeah, they've, they've taken one of those wind-up soldiers that crawl about and shoot his gun, and they've just painted him to look like Spider-Man. At least for... Sort of got the webbing pad right, but what's with the arms? We've got to paint. Well, the fact that Spider-Man's toting a, a bloody machine gun, which I'm, I'm sure never happened in the comics. I'm sure, and I'm sure the spare machine gun will not fit into his hands. Yeah, why has he got a spare machine gun? That's, that's weird. Why do you? Why does he even have a machine gun? What's... Anyway, apparently someone paid two dollars for that shit. But anyway, let's move on. Are you retarded? Um, oh, another another knockoff Barbie. This time we've got a. Oh, it's a. It's a. A teen pregnancy. Teen pregnancy beautiful. So it's Barbie in the form of a pregnant teenager. I can't even begin to describe <laughs> how wrong this is. <laughs> uh, teen pregnancy Barbie. Yeah, teen pregnancy Barbie. I did say that teen pregnancy is beautiful. No, it's not. It's terrifying. This is a weird one. It's obviously a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I... knockoff, but Woody and Buzz have ended up I... on the packaging somehow. I have I... put... Four kids packaging on it. Yeah, TMNT back to the sewer, kickflip skateboarder. So I'm assuming it's like a remote controlled uh, turtle on a skateboard. And um, I think it's meant to be a rip off of the current cartoons, the reboot, and the artwork on it of the actual Ninja Turtles appears to be from the uh, from the second from the first reboot of that we did yeah, it. Yeah, and then Woody and Buzz are on the packaging as well for some some reason. They're just there. Why? They're just there. I I don't even... What? I mean, these people that put these toys together, do they seriously think that there's a cartoon out there that has Woody and Buzz and the Ninja Turtles together? Why did they put, like, a racing car logo on it? Why did they put a 4Kids logo on it? Yeah. 
Oh, oh, plus the fact that Leonardo actually looks like he's dead already. <laughs> Let's move on. It looks like he's suffocated inside the package. All oh, right. Um, now we're gonna. I'm gonna be doing a special on the dodgy knockoff Lego at some point because I've I picked up a few pieces of Lego. This, this is not dodgy knockoff. This this particular one is dodgy knockoff uh, Jupla. Have you have you seen what the title is? Cock block super. Cock block super. <laughs> Just like every college friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cock block. Cock block. It's when like... you play you play with it when you don't want to ever ever have a re re meaningful relationship. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Oh look, it's uh, it's Rocky Elmo from Sesame Street. And he he encourages back. you to crap your hands. <laughs> yes. Quite what that means, I don't know. Elmo take a shit in his hands. <laughs> look what Elmo have for you. It's a cookie. Look, look, I have some sweet corn! That's definitely not a cookie. Oh. <laughs> anyway, this is obviously a, a sort of a Japanese import knockoff kind of thing. In fact, it could even be... I think this is actually a genuine Sesame Street um, manufactured toy and what have you. It's just that when it came to translating it over for the um, Japanese market, they... Um, it was a bad case of Ingr English, is how we say. No, I actually think that might be a rip-off. You think? Yeah. It's hard to tell sometimes. But anyway, either way, Elmo wants you to take a crap in your hands. Crap. Educational! Crap your hands, kids! Crap your hands or die! Lovely. Okay. Uh, right, okay, remember E.T.? Yes. Remember that bit where his finger glowed? Uh-huh. Someone thought it'd be a good idea to do a, fi a, a toy of his glowing finger. Ah, oh, well, that's... not realising it could end up looking like another part of the body that's long and phallic-shaped. Another toy single mothers will want. Yes. Finger glows when pressed. Mm. And gay people. Does it, vi does it vibrate as well, by any chance? <laughs> it glows and vibrates. No. Yeah, <laughs> move on. And now we've got another Tickle Elmo, um, and apparently no one can resist his infection, his infections laugh. When he laughs, you become infected with cholera. Hot item! He is hot too! I don't want to know who has a sexual attraction to Elmo. Says the arrow that's pointing towards, is that Bert or Owen? That's Birdie's crotch. Yeah. The... Birdie apparently thinks Elmo is hot. Yes. Birdie wants to shag hot Elmo. He is hot too, as the arrow is pointing to Bert. Ernie's crotch. Look at that face for it's like, oh yeah, you keep on doing that dance elbow. Come on, oh yeah. Because no one can resist the infection's laugh. The infection. Um, right, this is a uh, a pull-along car with a bit of a xylophone on it. It's a, a knockout come car. <laughs> I believe this is a bad case of English. You think? <laughs> A knockout cam car. I can't imagine what the possibilities of cam car would be. See, a lot of these items are perfectly normal. Uh, it's just <laughs> that when it comes to translating them like this, we get a poop up pool. Dear God, did did they run this past any <laughs> American or English people? Uh, like, possibly not. Not even the star. Too many O's, guys. One more O, you know, one less O, and that would have been perfect. But as alas, it is a poop up pool. At least, did a, at least they didn't do a pop up poop. Yes, that would have been worse. Oh, another SpongeBob SquarePants. This time it's an inflatable one. You basically got to give SpongeBob SquarePants some um, oral pleasure, and by the look on his face, he's already had some. Oh, yeah, I got a mess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Remember that Wolverine inflatable mallet? This suffers the same problem. Oh, well, no, I didn't see that. A Wolverine inflatable mallet. It was a Wolverine inflatable mallet from mallet from ages ago, and what happened was it had a picture of Wolverine on it, and the nozzle to blow into it was essentially on his crotch. <laughs> oh my God! Wolverine's basically saying, "Hey, bub, <laughs> inflate here." Bad Wolverine. And there's also a Superman toy here, which is terrifying. That is, oh my God. It's like Turn your pillow into the biggest toy ever! Yes, a sex toy! Oh god! I can just imagine a pervert like this, like, I am sexually attracted to Superman! I'm gonna... Yes! You uh... too can give Superman executive relief! Go. Uh... Right, and I think that's it! So that is it for uh, another look at some of the most disturbing toys from around the world. Thank you for sending those in, Super Mastodon. We shall never sleep again. Um, my mind has been <laughs> broken. And if you do come across any disturbing toys like this, by all means send us photos of them. Please do not attempt to send any of these things through the mail. Um, because
because they'll be incinerated on site. Until next time, I am the Big Daddy D. I am the Little Daddy E. And we're signing out for another episode of the Big Daddy D Reviews. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye. Right, I've got to go bleach my eyeballs. Save some for me! Sod off, this needs to be a tired tub. <laughs>